Hey guys, just doing a quick VOD review of our Spider Queen game. Just want to see kind of what fell apart. Like I said, Let's see if there's anything that we can recognize or learn. Like I said, sure, we had a few things that were off or whatever, but I think the big thing for me is just kind of seeing what changed between early game and mid game. because we saw Artie was standing there. Yep, just want to set tons of damage into Artie. Yep, kill. Called for camp. When did camp things? bottom on this rotation here. Artie walks into us. We almost get the kill. Could have body blocked longer, I guess. I was just afraid to get the stun locked and be silenced. That's okay. We end up getting, I think, both of them here. Yep. Well done. Yep, and then snowballs into the building. I sadly gave all of her stacks here. I wasn't paying attention. But, we get the building. Or sorry, we get the wall. We don't get the building. We back up. We look for turn in. Throw all there, it didn't happen. So to the bottom. Only killed it. Yep, that bomb was huge. We even just got a kill there. Yeah. Zed, I think, saw me posturing up here to look for a kill. And then I saw Velvet was turning in and I didn't go in. So I probably let Zed take a whole bunch of damage there from my posturing. I could probably be more vocal about what my intent is. Looks like we're safe. And then the call was to go top, so that way mid was just for free. See if we can get a trait value here. We are watching Artie, great job. I think this is where Volley or Stukov steps up a little too far. It's the ball up. Yep, my body block, and we get a double. Job keeping me alive, and then we hit the building here for free. We shut it down with Zed, and then I'm just feeling for Zed, watching the Artie. Spider Snot just missed Artie, but and I think we just missed it there too with Velvet Stun. Zed lives, we get the building. Yep, 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 we got two buildings for free. We called the wall. I guess we had enough people showing that I could have probably helped clear that wall, but I figured just be safe and watch this rotation here. Make sure you guys didn't get ganked. Alright, yep, they left. Looking for Thrall. Didn't find it. We look for the invade. I know we took the building, that's right. Might as well, we have tents. Yep, they turned in, we don't care. Everything's already in our favor. We're just looking for them to be out of position. So this, this is the first fight that kind of goes somewhat sour. So we're, Anubarak was not seen, but he literally has walked into us. I slot on Anubarak. Okay, we don't have everybody here, so this engage just might be just too early. Because Waniba's not in range. Zad can throw mind control, but that'll be max range. Yep, there's the mind control. That's like max range. See, I already slid and have started trying to make sure that Stukov doesn't get the silence puddle off. Zed's hitting us in front of you. What Neba's hitting us in front of you. Mongoose is looking for an entomb on the back here. It's a little deep, right? Like, we're just split on our engage. I think this is the target was a new Brack. Just, Moniba wasn't in range to help get the kill off the mind control. And so, and then, Mongoose is deep here, and so getting killed for it. And then, new Brack lives. So, and then, we just make it out. Yeah, 
I think it was a good look. Just we just needed to secure a new brack there. We were just going a little bit too far. We just clear, 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 clear for free. We look to get a fight bottom. So they're out of position. I'm looking. I just want to loop and slide. Yep. Nice mind control. Sadly, the Stuka off heal and the cocoon come out. So I'm trying to get him out. Let's get stunned. Everyone lives. Theo's coming with an entomb here. So as soon as you're in range, I get a stun here. It's a little bit max range, but they're overextended. Yep. We can fight this. Leo's in range. We get the kill here. I get shoved. Yep. We get another kill here. Yep. So this is one I think we end up goofing here. We end up getting... Yeah. The mind control and the boop overlapped, which is unfortunate. We end up mind controlling Thrall in, which Thrall then turns and gets a double. Oh, he only kills me. We killed Thrall back in return. Almost got Vala too. That was almost a five man kill. We get the building here, or the wall. Yep. Good job taking the wall for free. Yeah, we don't take their camp. Get free turn in. We we're short a dollar. So, yes, they're there. We don't want to fight them. I called, I was going to go get a dollar. So don't follow me. I got the dollar when he was getting bottom camp. Yep, yep, yep. We clear this, and that's when I realized we could do camp too. So go ahead and do camp. I'm channeling this. So camp's done, that's done. This is our big push here 14 13s. We have the camp, we have Web Weaver and camp. We want to support middle. If we support middle, we're guaranteed to get something here. And Tomb just missed. Let's back up again. How close was that? Just off. Probably didn't have to fish there either. But that's okay. I'm glad we're looking. That's a good boop. I'm sliding a noob. Somehow a noob didn't die there. I don't quite understand the interaction there. But brute silence. We're running stuff out. She's supposed to live. She's living. It's a good boom. Boom. She's dead. So right here. I said I was going to look for a mosh if I could find one, and then the tower just continued to be on other people, so I said, okay, never mind, just play for the building. So we backed up, I was watching this pile here where Velvet's at, and Mongoose is at, yep, and then I just peeled for Zed, yep, and I said, instantly taken out, but that's okay, I was mainly looking for Zed, I can get out, that was a great cleanse, yep, we get building, and we live, and then we overextend here, I'm not sure what we were looking for here, I know I was running out, Mongoose is now out, Waniba's out, so... Mongoose gets swapped back in again. I, I tried to peel, but I just couldn't get him out. So I'm not sure what this turn was. Let me back up real quick to see if I can see what they saw, or if it was just getting Velvet out. Because, like, after I got cocooned, everything was out. Like, it's a good ancestral there. Like, Mongoose needs out. Everybody needs out. So I feel like at this point, once I boot and I slide, everyone should be out. Like, I think this is like a peeling mind control, but we call it, but he like called mind control, and then Velvet goes over to try and help with the mind control, and now we're like, like, right, like we're engaging again when we have, like, I have no health, Mongoose doesn't have E or Entomb. Well, he does have Entomb, I guess. Waniba doesn't have Tire. No, she doesn't have Tire yet. Waniba's already on her way out. Noob is super low, but Mongoose could swap back in. I've got nothing. I'm here, but I'm trying to boop to get him out, give you block charges. Just wasn't enough. And then Mongoose dies. So this is heavy. So we gave them two. We got three keeps. So this is what I'm talking about. We're up two levels here. And so in my mind at this point, the only way we lose is if we give them a fight. So we can macro, we can do whatever we need to. 
up six buildings. Let's do our best to deny turn-ins. So I'm not sure what happened up here, because I was on the bottom one. So maybe we were just not safe, or I should I should have been up here with you guys instead of guarding bottom. Because, like, we're... Okay, we don't need both. Yeah, if Mongoose is bushing and guarding, then Winnie Bush should probably be over here to make sure that we are guarding both sides or being here to help either side that needs help because Mongoose can flank this by himself. We stay a little long. Trap comes out. They engage on Winnie Winnie pretty much just dies here because we're... Oh no, the silence arm, the bomb. Oh, actually, you live. But Velvet comes in. Everybody, actually, everybody lived on that one. Okay. Yeah, and then I get some boops down here. I'm stalling top, bottom. You guys are stalling top. This is where. Okay, this is the one that was happening. So we have we're currently split two and two, which I think is fine. And Velvet's playing kind of in the middle. So like, as soon as I'm stopping Ironhide. Velvet's in the middle. Mongoose is stalling here. Velvet steps up a little far to get Mongoose a heal. When Mongoose has E, he probably should be calling that he has E to live. Because now you're cocooned and me and when I'm still down here. I didn't know or I didn't hear you were in the cocoon. So then by the time I heard you're in the cocoon, I know I'm running up now. But like, you're pretty much dead between the silence pool and everything else. I don't think you can self-Ancestral. Three seconds on Ancestral. Yeah, we probably shouldn't even be playing up this far outside of just Leo and then, like, Junk or Sylvanas on this side. Yeah, you're just not going to get to push buttons. And then we throw all of our buttons trying to save. So, like, we threw Mind Control here when Eba's got no health. Leo and Tomb's here and is just getting chunked by, uh, by uh, Thrall. That's greedy. I think we could have played that better. If we're playing, like, defensive posturing type stuff, just play it posturing. Like, the ranged are out here. The people that are puppy guarding are, you know, where they're supposed to be. And then, you know, we can kind of float just so that way we're on our half versus, like, I know he's trying to get the heal off here. So either as a team we poke together as a potential engage is happening or we commit to one of these two to kill because, like, there was 20-something gems here on Thrall, and there was 20-something gems here. They don't have any turned in, so we didn't need to be split. We just needed to watch probably one side and make sure that they weren't all getting free turn-ins. I think that's just us being too split, and so the cocoon made it worse. So, they get turned in here. Heal for Zad, he barely lives. So right here, this is, to me, this is, we're up, like, they're, they're, they're going to be down a player, they have to do homework, we're down a player here, I'm like, I don't want to be anywhere near this front line, like, I, the whole reason I think I'm up here is because I can safely clear the wall on the other side. Like swaps down, I step up to catch the XP and the soak. This is too far. You barely get out with your haunting wave. So at this point here, I have a no health Zad. I have the whole spider wave coming up to the wall here. So in my mind, this is undefendable. Like outside of a junk rat bomb that like throws somebody on this side of the wall. I, I don't expect to be fighting here. You've got no health, and I and what's like, and we don't want to be diving past our towers up here anymore to get kills. So 
that's the furthest I'm like, I can't play up anymore because they have Stukov. Okay, so at this point right here, I'm watching a flank because I don't see Thrall. Right? I don't see Thrall. So I'm making sure that there's no flank happening on this side because I've already decided that this building is not worth dying for. Like, the only way they come back is if they kill us plus the building. Right? If they get this building, these web weavers don't do nothing. So that's why I already looked at this as this is just forfeit. Let them have it if you need to, because we're not going to be able... Like, if we get kills here, like, unless it's a five-man wipe, I don't even think we can run to core, because the death timers will be so short. But we... Like, we ended up getting swapped at point-blank range, sub-1,000 health. Ancestral is up. Leo ran. Leo took a bunch of damage. He's not here. It's so like, to me, I'm like, this isn't the fight we want at all. Ancestral just barely missed. And, like, I, you know, I try and make something out of it. I think both of us did, right? Like, we're seeing the clump, and we're trying to force something out of this now, now that we're dead. And so, like, this just doesn't get any value. And I think we lose Mongoose, too. We do get Artie when he really's got Artie off of the bomb. And then I think I die here because I didn't have anywhere to go. If I ran this way into two, I think I was dead. So I just ran the only way I'm trying to peel them from doing stuff. So all of this happened because we were just too aggressive up here. Like, I don't think we needed to be anywhere near their siege because their spiders literally did nothing. We could have just give, gotten this building for free and punished them if they overplayed with Geneva's traps and with Geneva's mines. Instead, we gave them... We went down a kill. Yeah, I guess it's just down a kill. But, like, I just... Yeah. So. It's not the end of the world. But to me, that's why I'm like, this is where we kind of started falling apart. Because, like, I'm dead. If we were up, if this was five up, this is a terrible fight from them. This is 100% where we collapse. Because now they're underneath our tower. We have all of our ults up. We can do this from this flanking angle here. Because they're split. So you look at that. We're ready for it. Just we don't have people up for it now. This is a great boss check, by the way. I really like that how you check this to make sure that we didn't... Yep. The Entomb just barely missed again. I think maybe we're looking on the wrong Entomb targets. Like, maybe if the Entomb target's not Vala, or at least pre-Silence 20. Like, I'm not sure. Like, this is, again, just barely terrain-wise. It was really rough. We had, because, like, now the Entomb misses, and then I don't know if we even have a kill if the Entomb lands. So when Eba checks the bush very well and even puts a trap down, we find him. Right? He gets dove. Somehow, the little sidestep in his fat body animation, he got pushed out. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. He was on this side of the wall. But instead of having to walk through our damage, he gets to walk away. Like, he definitely would have been dead. So, but we peeled them off the boss, which is what we really wanted. Everyone makes it out alive. Well done. Cool. So they didn't get much again out of their boss. So we're up still. Six structures. We're worried about the boss. We're checking it, which is good. We did see that they're not there. So at this point in the game, what do we do? Right? Like, I think, in my mind, we're looking to push them off and take some camps or force them to be split. Find a split target. There's nowhere safe for them to hide anymore. The whole map is in our control. Dodge the swap. Okay, looks like we called camp because we're going to be first to 20s. I'm making sure they don't invade. They don't have enough gems if they turn in, so the call was fine. We're looking for 20s. This is when we look for the boss and the camp invade. We see Vala's top, so we just call the camp invade. Yeah, we called the camp invade. So right here, we're split on our engage. I don't know how much time's left on this camp. 
So I'm pretty much instantly queuing as soon as I see Stukov. Somehow I missed Stukov. That's really unfortunate. That was the target I was really looking for. So now, right now, at this moment, it's a 3v4. But once again, like, our damage aren't here. Like, this, this engage is too early. Because there's no follow-up damage. So even though I mosh here, like, and then we blew both of our ults again. Like, we moshed and entombed. And because Zad was on this side, Zad's now stuck bot fighting Thrall. Waniba is going to try her best to rip tire. She's got it mid-cast here. Like, this is just... It's a bad engage. That's all there is to it. Like, we're almost 20s. They're not split anymore. Right? Like, if that's like Vol is here shooting over the wall. We we honestly could have just slow played this to 20. This is, this is too aggressive. This is just wrong on all accounts. And then Zad's on an island over here because everyone else walked this way. Like, we get the kill, but we're going to lose. Yep, the Ancestral again is just half a second off. I turn and kill the Stukov with Winneba. I thought this camp was already captured. I take Deathmosh here, and then Winneba boops him. So... I don't normally take death mosh, but I saw the three man potentially getting moshed, and so I figured that we could use it. So that could be a bad talent choice for me as well. That you know I don't need death mosh here. I usually don't take death mosh, but like I said I thought three man in tomb here, or three man dance, and then we push with both of these and win because we have both camps pushing mid right now. So I just misread that situation. I think if we're gonna be that aggressive. We should be aggressive with 20, or we engage all together. Like, I know Zad had mentioned that on the last engage, he was with us and, and didn't, and, like, died. But the last engage, we, like, we didn't die. We just didn't kill the target that was in front of us. Like, Mongoose was going really deep for an Entomb on, like, Leoric, or on somebody over here. And, like, we just didn't get the kill on an Uberak. So... Yeah, and I think that mainly comes down to just DPS and us being slightly out of step. Like, one or two seconds when we're a little bit tighter and we have these kills. So. And then when he dies. Yeah, so he pretty much five-man wiped for a camp when we had our 20s advantage. Sure, you know, we got two camps and they're not doing much with it, but, like, this is, this is how they get back, right? Like, we've been up whole game. And then Mongoose, I think, accidentally dies here. Like, he just needs to live. He needs to lose. Like, you can play Vision, that's fine. You should have just hit B when you're at, like, 85% or whatever. You just B here, you can teleport home. But that ends up getting you dead. Like, look at how fast you melt because of the uh, Thrall here. And then Vala just has level 20 range on you. There's nothing you can do. Yep. Like, at this point in the game... Oops, wrong button. Already has 262 stacks. Vala has 215 stacks. Thrall has 60 stacks for bonus attack speed. Like, you just can't stand in front of them. Heading towards you. So we clear bottom once again. We're watching turn ins. So this is a little bit messy of who has what turn in, because I could have stayed hidden for another poke, but because we over committed our pokes, they're gonna get this now. So So once again here, twenty one twenty ones. In my mind, the only way they win is if we throw. So we like can let them push in to us. And try and play for like a junk rat or an entomb over the wall. I remember Leo said he was gonna look for an entomb over the wall. Like our DPS are right here. So like if Mongoose was to land this, we're in range. But like if I was to slide this, we're not. And so this is a hard part, is that it's like being patient for that. We dodge the swap. Like this Vala here would be sweet if we can catch this Vala because she's trying to get her hatred stacks up. K 
Okay, so here comes the... We're taking... Like, we, we don't need to... I know mind control's on cooldown, but, like... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not seeing this the same. Like, mind, you can throw mind controls out like candy because it's 15 second cooldowns. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Force them to blow their stuff. It's just that, that yeah. I'm like, Mongoose engages off of it. And did he walk out? Did you miss? Miss again? Cause like I'm I'm okay with fishing. I take it back. I'm okay with you fishing this. Like this is that uh, you can hundred you can hundred percent fish. I just don't like that you took damage from the spiders. Not so now Leo should be able to entomb. Like I literally slid on the entomb to make sure that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe just posture a little bit further, Mongoose. That's like the third tomb that got missed. And then now we don't have our buttons, so we're playing back. This is this is too greedy. I don't think you can stand up here, Mongoose. Okay, they're running. It's fine. So they had to answer home. I guess the question is, is can we boss fast enough? Because if we would have started right now. I think we actually should have bossed. Hmm. Because like right now, like, we have vision of boss, but like we're not doing anything. We're preparing. Vala's bottom. Vala's running top. Yeah. I, I think either we start a boss right away or we just don't boss. I don't even know if we want to bait boss. Like, this is what's crazy. is We're so far ahead on all of our structures and all of our things. Do we want to give them a fight? Like, let's keep them split. Like, the fact that they actually came to us up here meant that they didn't clear this. So, like, we actually probably shouldn't even be fighting. But, I don't know. Then, we entomb. So this time, I'm sliding to interrupt the stuke off. I missed the stuke off on my slide. Mind control hit. I got shoved. So, unfortunately, yes. If I probably would have slid on the, the new barack, we may have gotten the kill there. Maniba just got chunked to heck. We need to reset. I'm trying to run back to help. And I'm stunning, interrupting what I can, washing what I can. And sadly, we just died. I think we just don't even boss. Don't even bait boss. Like, I, I... We missed abilities, sure. But, like, I think I keep going back to, like, how do they win this game? Like, the only way they win is if they get kills. They're so far behind on macro that they have to constantly be split. We should be attacking them when they're split. I know this isn't a macro map. We definitely are more of a, you know, pick isolation comp type thing. But, like... We, like, even if I get the slide here on the stu like if I get the kill on a new brack, like I definitely should have slid on a new brack. But like we're just giving them opportunities to come back and fight us. Yeah, I don't know. And then and then we throw again up here. Like yes, they're low, but this is just greedy. Like, we shouldn't be up here trying to do anything with them. They don't even have enough for turn in. Right? We should just be hitting boss. We should just be clearing boss. Right? Like, we have no damage here. This is just super greedy. Like, we land the entomb, I slide, and you just die. Yep. 
And if I had blink here, like I normally do, it would have been fine, but... Yeah. Like, sure, Deathmosh lands too, but, like, Winiba can't kill anything there. Yeah. So that's two different deaths that we... We... So they have enough for turn in now. They took camp first and turn in. They're answering bottom. So I'm not even up yet. This is I'm glad Mongoose is teleporting away, but this might be just a little bit too far. Because now you don't have E. Looks like we'll be fine. So once again here, like what's the engage? Right? Is Mongoose engaged or am I engaging? Like, Mongoose gets swapped, has no E. So, right, so we have, like, the bomb goes off here, the mind control goes off here. You get web racked. This, like, we just, th like, the last four fights, we just throw all of our abilities for no reason. We're just literally, like, all of us throwing our abilities on cooldown. Like, when Eba gets cooldown on our Junkrat tire, so she's using it on cooldown. Sylvanas can fish and gets good mind controls because it's on a 10-second cooldown. We just ulted here into an Artanis, but you're literally dying into an ult. So it's like, and then I'm trying to boop over here to make sure that you got out, and then you get cocooned. So I'm trying over here to clear the cocoon, and Mongoose just dies. And then because you died, the laser reset. Velvet was forced to use the Ancestral early, and the laser killed him. Literally, Mongoose's death got Rag killed. Rag killed. Because if Rhaegar doesn't die here, I think we're fine, because now we don't have heals. It's so, like, as they're going in, it's so, like, again, like, look where Winiba is. Like, we're, we're, we're just constantly, like, throwing our abilities and trying to fight. Like, I saw this pile here, and Winiba also saw the pile, so we get the kill here. And Zad's just trying to live now. Right? Because Zad's, like, dipping and dodging. So I'm over here on the pile. And then I get blown up. I have Dance. But, like, when he was getting dove, Zad's hitting what's in front of him. That's a kill here. Deathmosh holds what we can. When he was playing for her life, when he was should just literally just play her life. I don't think she needs to go back this route. I'm not quite sure why that mind control didn't kill him. Like, does mind control do zero damage? It literally does zero damage. That is super unfortunate. Like, you literally hit him at 100 health, and because he did his little swap thing, he didn't die. And then when he but runs back in and dies. Yep. So... I don't know. I look back at this game, and I just see force fights all over the place when we have we don't have advantages. Like we tried to force defend here when we didn't have an advantage. We tried to force invade here without an advantage. Like sure there was a numbers potential, but we didn't like engage together. The fight up here was forced without an advantage, and we didn't engage together. The, the fight here was super chaotic. We threw all of our abilities and not in sync together. So, like, I don't think it's necessarily a Rhaegar problem. To me, this one comes down to who's the engage. Because if Sylvanas is the engage, I can then slide any target that Sylvanas is on. If Leoric's the engage, we can follow up on Leoric. If I'm the engage, we can follow up on me. But then, like, it just felt like we had some disjointed stuff between our abilities... And then I definitely would have lived more if I didn't take Deathmosh. But, like, I thought I needed Deathmosh right here to make sure that we won the team fight. But people, we were just dead. So, yeah, I, I think, if anything, it comes down to just slightly missed engages. Like, a couple in tombs just barely missed targets. And so we ended up not getting kills. And then we just tried too hard to force fights. Like, we're, we're up six buildings or five buildings. Like, let's macro them. Let's force them to break up their death ball. Because, like, their strength is in their melee death ball. Look at all these auto attacks in the melee death ball. So let's just not fight them until they're split. Because their wave clear is garbage. And so, I guess we just didn't take enough advantage of that.
So that's my little quick overview. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I definitely see several places where I should have probably just stayed on the target that was in front of me. Um, I didn't see as many of the ones that Zad was talking about. Let me see if I can quickly just follow his player cam. Just engages where he was on targets that I was not. So I was on that target. I got shoved, so I was not. I was on that target. I was on that target. I was on that target. I died for it. We got the building. So we said later in the game. So let me see. Okay. So this one here, I was calling on getting the one gem. We're clearing mid, we get the turn in, so we're not fighting. He just didn't get stunned there. I have the laser. I'm running it out, so I can't hit your target. You guys got the kill anyway. I'm watching the swap on the right. I'm watching Zed. Zed gets engaged on. I'm healing for Zed. It's a good juke. Right here, I'm playing for my life, so I am not engaging on your target. I ran away with no health. I'm still not engaging on your target because I have no health. I'm coming back in because I see you guys are fighting, and then you get stunned, silenced, and died. So I tried to peel your target there. Right here, a new Brax all over you because I just came from the south. Like it was, like I definitely, if any of the CCs were here, we probably kill that guy. But there's nobody there because I just lit, barely got there myself. We lost mongoose for that. Tried to help you here for this target. Looks like you barely get out. Yep, I barely peel for you. We have no tap. Sub thousand health. Swap barely misses. I can't even slide that target. I have to peel for you. I'm gonna slide on myself. Yeah, at this point right here, I thought 100% you were just gonna go home. Like, I, I had no intent of you coming back. You're sub 1,000 health. And then, like, you just, you'd like, this is an accidental swap. He wasn't even aiming for you. He was just looking for anyone. And, like, then the spider snot kills you. Yeah, I, just, I was not looking for any type of engage there. I was watching for the Thrall flank, because I don't see Thrall. Like, I guess I could have I could have been up here further to, like, eat the swap. I just didn't think we would try and fight there. And the Thrall shows up late and grabs me. Yeah, okay, see if there's any other targets I wasn't sliding on or focusing for you. I think Zad just barely got there and we intuited again early. Yeah, 
Like, we, we entombed early before Zad was there again. We definitely had a kill if we were waiting for Zad. Twenties. We should play for twenties. We're in camps playing for twenties. Yeah, this invade call is bad. We're almost twenties. We should take bottom camp. Take so take bottom camp. Right? They don't have gem turn in. If we're gonna take the fight here, we should probably be looking for whoever just rotated here from top, or taking this and taking this and just getting twenties. And then fighting them as a death ball of 5 with 20s. This is just wrong. Dang it. Just over greedy because of how far ahead we were early game. So, like, here, you like I said, this is the chaos of, like, everybody throwing their buttons, engaging too early, and Winnie but not in range. It's like Sylvanas is literally almost 100 to 0 thrall by, by himself. And the Junkrat tire is on the back instead of over here. Right, like the Junkrat Tire over here probably kills Iron Knight before Zad gets in danger. Ancestral's just half a second too late again. And Death Mosh gets messed up, but yeah. I was tempted to slide this target right here. I don't know if I live or not, but I really wanted to slide this new Brack, but I waited because I thought Mongoose was going to initiate with the Tomb. Yeah. This is one of those weird things again. What's the engage target? Thanks, Mongoose. Because, like, this Entomb, as good as this Entomb is, like, look where our DPS is. Again, like, we're not right on top of it. And then, like, I didn't slide the target this time because I assume we had it, but look where Junk is. Junk isn't even on the target because we think we have it. And Junk, unfortunately, tries to tire right in point blank and gets interrupted. And I'm here trying to get you out. Stunned, slide, moshed, everything I could. Just didn't, didn't matter. Okay. Like, once again, like I said, I'm not on this target because I'm peeling Mongoose. When he was peeling... You get cocooned, so you didn't really get engaged on. Mongoose's death here is so bad. Oh my gosh. It's so sad. Not that, like, he may, like, it's, like, we're just all throwing our buttons, but, like, this is so sad because it gets Rhaegar killed. The laser literally is on him the entire time. <laughs> and then it goes off. It doesn't go off again because it wasn't the right target. So here... Back up real quick. I don't think I was on your target because I was just sliding the plumb. Thrall, but 
I slid the other way because I saw the pile over there. I ended up getting the kill. You ended up getting the stuka off. Oh, I was so close on that guy. Yeah. I would say 90% of all targets that you had a chance to hit, I slid on. Uh, the two that didn't happen was his bottom one down here. And I think that's just because we didn't have DPS in range and this top one up here. And it's because I thought we got the burst kill on a new brack inside the cocoon and I wanted to stop the silence and the heals from impacting our kill. So, yep. I think I did pretty good outside of those two, making sure that the targets you were hitting, you got stuns on. So, all right. We live, we learn. Uh, like, worst thing, we played amazing for the first... 11 minutes of the game, up 16, 14, and through. It's going to happen. So, great games. Talk to you guys later.